coming next on Sledhead 24-7. It's Fashion Week as FXR presents what to wear on your ride next season. We've saved a front row seat for you as the 2018 gear is unveiled. The home of horsepower shares another way to amp up your Arctic Cat. We'll hear from some of the world's greatest snowcross racers on the Speedworks EFI and how it can get you to the top of the box. ski pulls back the curtain on their 2018 sleds. Jeff Fisher is first in line for a sneak peek and starting it off, a new smart start will explain. And spend some time with snowcross announcer Chris Hockey, a well-rounded entertainer. The Hawk is also a Ram man. In every situation, I'm a Ram man. Sledhead 24-7 is in tune and starts right now. Greetings everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Sledhead 24-7, your show for everything snowmobile. I'm your host, Chelsea Scorch, and we're here this week at Bob's Cycle Supply in St. Paul, Minnesota. We're going to start this week's episode talking about the most important thing when it comes to riding, keeping you warm. And luckily for the crew at Sledhead 24-7, we are outfitted in the best gear in the industry, and that's FXR. In Winnipeg at the 2018 FXR Dealer Show. FXR has a lot in store for this next year. Look at this guy. He's looking pretty sharp. Yeah, he looked good. So not only does FXR have riding gear and apparel, but casual wear. You know, this next year, gonna be looking good. Whoa. Chelsea, what do you think? I think we find you some stuff. We're here at the 2018 FXR Dealer Show and uh, just showing here the new women's lineup, starting with Monos. So uh, this year, carrying over the Ranger, a couple new colorways. Uh, we have the aqua electric pink and then the black electric pink mint, which mint is a new color in our lineup, so we're pretty excited about that. And this is uh, the newest addition to our lineup. It's the Renegade Jacket. Um, Wineberry was introduced last year and we had a great success. So we decided to do full Wineberry, which is my absolute favorite. Another jacket we have is the Swalbard here, which we introduced in our 2017 Outdoor lineup. And uh, we had amazing success with it. So with that said, we also introduced a full um, charcoal heather colorway with Aqua. So excited to see how that does. We've got some dealers here from uh, all over the world. Everyone's getting pretty excited because it's their first chance to see what we got coming down the pipe for next fall. Uh, one of the new ones that we've got is our Elevation Drylink three-piece mono suit. It's kind of a cool deal because you get your full function and fit and feel of a two-piece, but you get the protection that you get from a mono suit. And the way we do that is with our drylink. So I'll show you guys what that is. So what the drylink is, it's a connector link that connects your pants to your jacket and basically it acts as a buffer, a snow barrier and also a bit of an expansion gusset for a taller rider or a shorter rider. So the riders of all different heights and shapes and sizes still get the right fit. You get the waist up high enough, you get your inseam up high enough. So you can jump around on the sled and move around like you want to. So we're here looking at the 2018 Boost X jacket. Uh, it's all redesigned for 2018. You know, all new look, bright flashy colors, but super clean and it's all sublimated. So that means no embroideries, no screen prints. You've got no texture, you've got no holes in your shell, nothing to gather snow and ice. It's just gonna shed everything and it's got minimal seams, so minimal chance of failure or leaks and that sort of thing. It's your full level, you know, mountain level performance, but for your crossover and that's anywhere you wanna ride. Up high, you know, riding in the steep and deep, trail riding in the Midwest and everything in between. What we're looking at here is a 2018 FXR Elevation Light BOA Dual Zone Boot. So this is FXR's boot for your backcountry performance rider. It's a fixed liner boot, so it's low profile, it's light, but it's also got the most support for a fixed liner boot on the market. So what we've done is we've inserted a molded plastic insert into the tongue. It's going to help control your flex, 
as well as a plastic insert into the heel for impact and flex control. So what you're going to wind up with is a boot that flexes better, but it's also stronger and offers you more support and more comfort. Today I'm joined by Andrew Tolzman from Bob's Cycle Supply. Now Andrew, you guys have a ton of product here. Talk about what Bob's has to offer. We have everything from dirt bike, off-road apparel, gear and parts, uh, to motorcycle stuff, whether it's touring, uh, road racing, uh, adventure riding, and then of course snowmobile gear, uh, parts and accessories. Now you have a great customer base. How long has Bob Cycle been in business? We've been around for over 45 years now. And listening to you talk with your co-workers, um, it seems like you guys have a very, very big passion for mo motorsports in general. Yeah, you kind of have to working in retail. Um, we're not making a ton of money, we're not millionaires here, but uh, we are very passionate about what we do. Uh, motorsports in general, uh, we have everyone here from snowmobilers to road racers to uh, enduro riders. So everyone that works here has a passion for motorsports and that kind of, uh, that's what makes it work. Now Bob Cycle is located in St. Paul. Where else can people find Bob Cycle? Uh, BobCycle.com. Well, thank you, Andrew, for joining us today on Sledhead 24-7. You're very welcome. These are the world's greatest snowcross racers, always in search of new ways to satisfy their need for speed. When we return, discover how Speedworks and their new EFI system gets these cat racers the edge they need. Straight up USA horsepower, indeed. We're going back to the future. Jeff Fisher and the crew blast ahead to 2018 for a sneak peek at the latest from ski -Doo. From the announcer's booth at an ice sock race, Chris Hockey tells the story of great racing. And from the cab of his new Ram, he has another story to sing about. But first, it's time for an Amsoil Tech Tip. So specifically for snowmobile oils, uh, there's a lot of challenges there because these things have to operate in extreme conditions. When you start a snowmobile up after you it's sat overnight, uh, that oil doesn't want to move that well. So the oil has to be designed with cold temperature properties such that it is going to move to those places that are critical for lubrication uh, at the time that you start this thing up and you get ready to run. If it's not there, uh, you're going to run into problems. So the designs that we put together uh, use specific synthetic molecules that perform really well on the cold temperature side of it, yet when it gets to high temperature, uh, close tolerances for some of these two cycle engines, the new ones that run hot and high power, it provides the wear protection required to keep those things operating for a long, long time. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil. Protect your weekend by Polaris. Terrain domination. Articat, share our passion. Skidoo Snowmobiles, what matters is what's next. FXR, world-class outerwear. And by Ram Trucks, America's longest lasting pickups. Welcome back to Sledhead 24-7. Now where do the top professional Articat racers go when they feel the need for speed? They go to the home of horsepower. No better place than Speedworks. When you are watching an ice hockey race, you have a window into the world of the greatest snowcross racers on the planet. They are racing in New York! Just amazing. There's, it's like, there's feeling like no other. If you go play any other sport, you don't get any sort of feeling you get here. Very fun, beyond fun. So much fun. It's it's about, yeah, it's my life and I love it. The point of racing is always winning, so yeah, I'm on my way up there and I don't stop before I get there. And the logical follow-up, you are also getting a front row seat to the latest and greatest in sled technology, as world-class mechanics tweak and fine-tune these sleds. At this level of racing, teams are always looking for the winning edge. And the Arctic Cat racers who work with Speedworks have discovered the edge is Speedworks EFI. Oh, Speedworks has been been there from the start. I probably wouldn't be here, you know, or as well as I've been doing without them. You know, they're always here doing the clutching, the motor work, all the pipes, and yeah, they're a big part of the program for sure. Uh, Speedworks is, mostly for me, it's just starts 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 and uh, it helps me 
get out front so where you're not battling in the snow, roost, and you're just focusing on getting to the lead and staying out front. Ripping hole shots. EFI, or electronic fuel injection, is an easy way to gain more speed and smoother, more consistent throttle response. Before it was just, it wouldn't go in the corners and it would bog really bad. And now it's just all power and it just goes. Other benefits include accurate adjustment for the temperatures, changes in air pressure and altitude. And since there is no carb float, EFI sleds thrive on jumps, bumps and big air. There's no uh, carburetor, you know, it's just all electronically, you know, airflow and gas is all controlled by a computer, so there's no more jets. It's kind of nice for the mechanics. I think we're just ahead of the game a little bit on the EFI and I think it's going to pay off here shortly. Arctic Cat and Speedworks co-developed this package, focusing on the injection system, cylinder porting, cylinder head design, and exhaust pipe. Fine tuning. That's the thing a lot of people can't do is the fine-tuning parts, and that's what they're good at. So that's why I think Articat and them are a good fit. Looking for more info on Speedworks and their one-of-a-kind EFI? We've set up a link to Speedworks, the home of horsepower, at sledhead24-7.com. Now, being an announcer at ISOC, I noticed that the Articat racers are always pulling those hole shots. It must be because of Jeremy Hool and the crew at Speedworks. Don't you go anywhere? There's more Sledhead 24-7 right after this. Still ahead, grab your notebooks, because we've got the sneak peek of the 2018 Ski-Doo Sleds. And what the engineers have come up with is proof the future has arrived. From an ISOC race to the edge of a music fest, to the top-rated radio show, would you believe there is still more to Chris Hockey? Stay tuned. Welcome back to Sledhead 24-7, your show about everything snowmobile. Now while riding the trails is fun, getting there is the important part. And there's no better way to get out riding than in your Ram truck. You know him as the voice of Snowcross. It's in the starter's hands. And we are green in Shakopee. 15 sleds into turn one. Chris Hockey has the energy and competitive edge to match the races he calls for network TV. Inside comes Tucker. It's a drag race down the hill. This is going to be a tight finish. Watch Pauline Tucker charging. Takes the triple. Pauline towards the end zone finish line. We'll do it. Kyle Pauline takes the win. What a race! Ladies and gentlemen, that is AMS Oil Championship Snowcross powered by Ram. The Hawk is like an eagle, up before the sun rises each workday as the host of the number one morning drive time radio show in Minneapolis and St. Paul. Hawk? Hawk? I don't know if it's two words. Roadrunner? That's right. Yeah, boy, Hawk! Oh, boy, Hawk. Oh. And we've got a 4-4 tie going into the last question. But there's even more to the Hawk. He's also a well-rounded entertainer, a popular musician, fronting the Chris Hockey Band. After seeing a few shows, it's clear the Hawk can rock. But on this day, the Hawk is sharing another one of his passions, his Ram truck. Hawk has owned a few Ram trucks over the years, and his enthusiasm for his Ram is real. So much so, that he just had to sing about it. Mud blood, tuxes and ties, snow, rain, and clear blue skies. Every road across the nation, in every situation, I'm a Ram man. Yeah, I'm a Ram man. Oh, I'm a Ram man. Yeah. That's Chris Hockey, number one Ram man. Shuts the door, takes away the preferred line, and down the front stretch there, the back stretch they go for the final time. 
Pelini to the outside. Tucker to the inside. On the gas, Kyle. You got a rail through here. Full Tucker to the inside. It's a drag race down the front stretch. Deadwood goes crazy. Who will win? Well, Tucker got the line. And Tucker got the win inside. by one one hundredth of a second in Deadwood. Less than half a lap from 100 wins is the T train. Tucker Hibbert into the final turns for the final time. And down the stretch he comes. Tucker Hibbert, the number 68 sled across the end zone finish line has done it. 100 feature wins for the first time in the history of Amsoil Championship Snowcross. What a way to win 100 races from dead last and off his sled to the championship and the win. Tucker Hibbert has done it here in Deadwood. I'm a Ram man. Yeah, I'm a Ram man. Ram is just a great all-around vehicle. From hauling your sleds to taking your kids to soccer practice, Ram won't let you down. There's more Sledhead 24-7 to come right after this. When we return, Jeff Fisher shares the latest new information from ski Deal. It's time for a sneak peek at the 2018 sleds, and the latest in sled technology continues to march ahead. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil. Protect your weekend, stud boy traction with an attitude straight line performance ziggler cat exceptional service backing the best equipment the u.s air force aim high jeff fisher just got back from a trip to quebec canada with the folks from skidoo jeff got a sneak peek of the new 2018 lineup the evolution continues and it just keeps getting better let's check in with jeff and see what's new with skidoo when you unveil the latest evolution of the snowmobile why not do it at some place special? And in the case of ski -Doo, the setting was the beautiful backlands of Ontario, Canada. Jeff Fisher and the crew were whisked off to a castle, Castle Bromont, for the Hush Hush press briefing on the latest from ski -Doo. Hey, if you guys can keep a secret, come on with me. 2018 ski -Doo sneak peek. So in 2018, for sure, it's first about the, the deployment of the new platform. So we deploy it on many models. So now six, up to 62% of our lineup is on the new Rev Gen 4 and 850 tech. So on top of that, there is a brand new backcountry that we completely reimagined for uh, those 50-50 riders. We have a new free ride that we push to the next level with a 165 track length. From a castle to a time tunnel, hang on and strap in as we're headed to 2018. Over here, you gotta check this out. Skidoo has brought me, and all you bump mashers, what we've been asking for, the XRS package in the Gen 4 850. The shocks, the reinforcements, the wider running board, and the steering post, similar to a Summit, push forward two inch, so you can get up on the front and really ride. All you backcountry guys that like to go off, jump, big hits, Skidoo has a sled for you. From 137 all the way up to the 165, the new free ride, the 850 motor and the Gen 4 chassis. This is what you guys have been asking for and waiting for. This is one long snowmobile. But if you're the kind of rider that goes through bottomless powder, needs the flotation, and does not like getting stuck, this is gonna be your snowmobile. We had the same snowmobile similar to it with the T3s a few years ago. But now the cool thing about it, it's in the new Gen 4 chassis with the new 850 motor. This thing is gonna be unstoppable. For 2018, one area that has been a major upgrade, a perfect start to your ride. On all their mountain sleds is what they call SHOT, which is an electric start system without an electric start motor. Hmm, you ask no motor, pushing this button, you're pushing new boundaries. We thought that we can use the E-Tech uh, technology okay, to get uh, a ride on fire okay, with uh, a starter device without a starter. Think about what a customer pays to save one pound in a mountain sled. What's the cost per pound to shave 20 pounds away? Shot pays for itself real quick. You're talking about one part. The ultra capacitor gets added to the system. Everything else is already on the snowmobile on a manual start snowmobile. So you're adding two pounds of weight. That's huge for a mountain guy. I get the benefits of electric start 
for two pounds, I'll take it every day. What's next? Get ready to ride. Fish and the crew are headed to West Yellowstone, where it's time to live the mantra, ride, rate, and review. It's pretty cool to see the evolution of the Skidoo snowmobiles. They're always coming out with something new. In a few weeks, the Sledhead crew is heading out to snowshoot to test these sleds in the mountains. That's all the time we have for this week's show. We want to give a big thank you to Bob's Cycle Supply for hosting us this week. Make sure you guys check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and we're always live on Sledhead24-7.com. Next week on Sledhead 24-7, a cross-country racing adventure. We tag along with some Polaris racers who braved the backlands. He was known as the Superman. Blair Morgan was one of the first snowcross superstars. While a motocross injury put him on the sidelines, find out how Blair Morgan's comeback is helping ski doo racers. These stories and a sneak peek at the 2018 Polaris sleds. See you next week. There's skills in there. <laughs>